Welcome back guys to Wasatch Moto. Uh, if we haven't met, my name is Dave and this is Walter. He is our 03 Toyota Sequoia. And man, has he been an awesome, awesome rig. So currently he's got 305,000 miles and I uh, wanted to show what we've got as far as an upgrade. So here's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm super stoked about putting these on. Um, they are rock rails, really, really heavy duty rock rails. Um, so they will go on the side right there. And these are made by Rocky Mountain Outfitters in Heber, Utah. Uh, my buddy hooked me up with these. Um, so I got them for a really good price. Super stoked to get them put on. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and then uh, what it looks like uh, when it's finished up. So um, as far as upgrades that we're gonna do in the future, uh, hopefully sooner than later, within the next few months, um, they do not make a six inch or eight inch lift for this that I'm aware. I think they make like a five inch and it's like super expensive and it requires a lot more work um, so what I want to do is put a body lift on the Sequoia. The only one person that I'm aware of has done this, so I don't really know how much work it is, but I'm going to document everything and, um, you know, let you guys know so that you could either build one of these kits yourself or if you want to purchase one, I'll probably have them for sale. So, um, there's a mount there, mount there. And a mount in the back so i think there's one two three there's probably eight mounts total so what i'm wanting to do is a three inch body lift the other thing that's kind of a little bit more work is that the bumpers attach to the frame so we have to create some brackets to pull the bumpers up as well as the body so I'm going to be documenting all of that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you uh, can get uh, updates as soon as I do those as far as um, how to build that kit and what all is involved with it. Let's get to it. Um, get these rock rails put on. All right. So I was told a jack, a uh, floor jack will make this job a lot easier. So these are the mounting points point this way because that'll be easier to see. Mounting point one, two, three, and four. This one actually has a bolt, two bolts. These have a stud and a spot for a bolt. So let's go ahead and get our rail put up here. And this kit also comes with a assembly kit so it comes with all your hardware which is fantastic rocky road outfitters not rocky mountain so here's where we're at the sun is like right Probably should have started on the other side, but. So there's just a, I gotta put the nut on this one. There's a nut and a bolt on each of these. And there's one, two, three, and then four has this big bracket with two bolts up there. Not sure what. Oh, there's another one there. All right, guys and gals. It looks so good. finished product nice equal spacing underneath so if you're wanting to buy these from Rocky Road Outfitters this is what they call the standard mounting the heavy-duty version requires the use of these tabs here so there's one two three four five and six and what you do is 
I'm gonna be using a right angle drill if that's necessary because right here, I don't even know if I might be able to push that in a little bit further, but there's not much clearance. So you kind of need a, you could cut this drill bit down or do what you gotta do to be able to drill through the existing hole on the bracket and then through this uh, where the body seam comes together. And then there's supplied nuts and bolts that attach at these points. So that's considered the heavy duty version. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that since I'm already out here working on it. Just barely. So the instructions say if you have the standard version, you can only climb like one foot rocks, but the, the heavy duty version, like six foot rocks. So obviously I'm gonna be doing the heavy duty version. There you have it, folks. This is what they call the heavy duty mounting. So, boys and girls, we are ready to do some heavy duty rock crawling. Pretty snazzy. Got these little bumpers that double as, you know, the old ones were like super low. So these don't hardly create any clearance issues as that's way lower. But if you're real close to like a tree, this will bump the side of the vehicle out and prevent it from messing up your door and stuff. So a pretty nice little feature. You can get them standard without these. They're a little bit less expensive, but I opted for that because I think it's really cool. So on this Sequoia, um, I wanted to ask you guys something. Leave it in the comments what you think. Um, Tanner says I should wrap it in satin black. I haven't seen a first gen Sequoia wrapped in satin black. So uh, as you've seen, the other door is faded and the back is faded. This side looks really good, um, but instead of repainting it, I'm thinking about wrapping it. So let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks again for watching. Hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, subscribe, stay tuned for uh, where we take this thing next. And uh, we're excited to take it out again. So. You guys have a good one and happy camping.